Hey everyone, welcome to our new video. Finally, Coen has released another version of Coen and it is Coen 3. And you know that this Coen 3 is actually beating the other popular models on the benchmark. Here you see that they have published this benchmark. We know that this Gemini 2.5 Pro is actually better at coding. But here you see that on this code forces, this Gemini 2.5 Pro has scored 2001, but this Coen 3 235 billion model is scoring 2056. So that means it is actually better than this Gemini 2.5 Pro. And not only this Gemini 2.5, it is beating this uh, OpenAI O1 also, and it is beating this OpenAI O3 Mini also. Okay, so this Coen 3 has published uh, six or seven kind of variation model. So if I show you, uh, this is the Coen 3 and here you see that they have published this 0 0.6 billion, 1.7 billion, 4 billion, 8 billion and this 14, 30, 32 and 235 billion model. This 235 billion model is actually a good model. If you use this then you will get the best output. Now in this video I will show you how to use this Coen 3 with uh, Roo code and client extension in VS code. And also I will show you that how to use it for various daily chat purpose. Now first of all you have to go to this website chat.coen.ai. I have given this link in the description and after login you will find this all of this Coen 3 model in this drop down. Here you see Coen 3 235 billion uh, model this uh, 30 billion 32 billion and all of the models are here. Okay, so you can choose uh, any model and use it. And I will always recommend you to use this Coen 3 to 35 billion model. Now beside this thinking, you will find one drop down. And here, if you click on this, here you see thinking budget, control the maximum length of thinking. You will find one slider here. And based on this uh, movement, you will see that token is getting changed. And why it is necessary? Because if you increase the thinking mode, then uh, in that case, it will take some extra time to generate the output, but you will get the best output. And it is necessary if you are performing any complex task or operations, but if you are performing any simple task or medium task, then you can change this thinking mode accordingly. Okay, for simple task, uh, don't increase the length because it will take some extra time. So I will not recommend you that. Also here you see that uh, this Coen 3 30 billion parameter model is performing better than DeepSeq V3 and this GPT-4O. So on this code forces uh, ELO rating, this Coen 3 score 1934 and this uh, DeepSeq V3 and GPT-4O is scoring 1134 and 864 respectively. So that means this Coen 3 30 billion is actually good than this V3 and GPT-4O and this uh, Coen 3 uh, all of the variation model are completely free to use. So for that you have to go to this open router here you see that under this search bar you will find all of these models this 30B and this uh, 32B and this uh, the best model this 235 billion model and at a time this 22 billion uh, parameter model are active. Okay. Now to use this, go to this open router page and here you will find um, these models. Let me select any of this model. And after that, uh, here you see that you will find this API. So just click on this API and here click on this create API key. And on the right hand side, you will find this create key. Let me give any name. So suppose coin 3 click on this create, you will get one API key and just copy that API key. Go to this VS code and here you will find this client and root code extension. Uh, and if you have not installed it yet, just install it after that. Uh, go to the settings of this client and here under this open router, just paste the API key that you have copied. And here under this model, just select the model that you want to use. Okay, now I have selected this 232 billion model and uh, click on the save. The process is same uh, for this client and root code. Okay. And uh, now if I type hi and press enter here, you will see that uh, it is doing the API request. 
and it is thinking okay now let me show you one interesting thing that uh, if i want to make this kind of uh, ui like if you go to this youtube then they are in this comment section you see that this is a structure like if any person have commented here and after that if you want to give any reply then uh, it is getting shifted to the right right now here if i reply to this comment this plus one and then it will also shift to the right okay so that means it is a tree like structure that it is maintaining or making now i have also asked the same thing to this coin 3 here you see that design a threaded discussion forum with upvoting and downvoting feature and here you see that i got this output and uh, this is the code that i have got in simple javascript html and css and you can make it in react also and i am running this preview and on the right hand side here you see that this is the output that i am getting in artifact and the ui is actually good because uh, if i type here that hi and click on this post thread you will see that uh, a comment got posted here hi and now if i give a reply to this uh, then you will understand hello and if i click on this reply here you see that hi was there and this hello got right shifted and also if i type anything like yes and yes got right shifted so that means it is maintaining the proper structure this is actually a famous interview question in a front-end interview round uh, in machine coding that nested comments right so this is actually helpful and uh, many you you will see that in many companies website like if you see the amazon flipkart or any company where there is a discussion forum if you uh, see the discord also in youtube also this structure is very much necessary and here you see that with a single prompt i have given one only single prompt to this design a threaded discussion forum with a voting and down voting feature and i got this and here you see that for each and every comment we have this reply option like for the first comment hi we have this reply option and for the second uh, comment i have this reply option for the third we have this reply option for this yes we have this reply option okay so that means it is actually working and now here you can start another thread also okay so this is actually a same like the discord and also you see that it has added this upvoting and downvoting features this is basically same as the reddit if i show you on post in reddit then you will understand so if i open any uh, post here you see that uh, there you will find this upvote and downvote option so if i go to our app here you see that it is currently showing zero so beside this high there is an upvote and downvote so if i click on this upvote it got increased to one again two three and also this hello there is a downvote here you see it is completely working guys and uh, it, it is better than the dipsy guard one because i gave the same prompt to dipsy guard one also but i didn't get the best output from them but with a single prompt here you see that i got a functional working uh, upvote and downvote discussion forum like the reddit like the youtube and like many other website like discord okay so it is actually amazing you also please try this and let me know your thought and in the comment section and i hope this video is helpful for you guys you got a detailed explanation from this video and another thing i forgot to mention that if you want to install it with olama just install this olama in your local and uh, here you see that this is the olama.com page and here uh, you will find this um, download page and here according to operating system you please download it and come to this coen3 olama page link is in the description here you will find many models and according to the size like the ram available the virtual lab uh, you please install it i will always recommend you to install this to 35 billion but if you don't have space then you can go for this 32b but uh, for this 235b i will recommend you to use this uh, 
their official website and from there, there you can generate the code and you can paste it in your uh, file okay and also there is a option to use this client and row code also that you can use i hope this video is helpful for you guys and uh, you got a detailed explanation about this coin 3 model and you also please try this and let me know, let me know your thought in the comment section so see you guys in the next video thanks for watching and don't forget to like this video guys and also comment in this video so see you guys in the next video thanks for watching